Hi, I'm Will Greenold at the PC Mag Labs in New York, but if you watch this video when it goes up, I will actually be in Los Angeles for E3. And you know who else is gonna be in Los Angeles for E3? Miller Lite. Though Miller Lite's probably going to be in Los Angeles just in general, it's a very popular nationally distributed beer. This is going to be in Los Angeles for E3, and this is not an ordinary beer can, it is the Cantroller. This is a Bluetooth game controller that is also a full can of Miller Lite beer. They made 200 of these, and if you're gonna be at E3 on the 12th, you'll be able to compete to win one. You'll be able to walk home with this full can of Miller Lite slash gamepad. The contest is you sign up, and on the 12th, you'll be able to fight Eric Andre at Street Fighter V using this controller. Probably a little bit awkward because that is a six button game. This has four face buttons, but you know what? I think he'll be using the controller too, so it should be an even fight unless he has sick pro esports FGC skills. We're going to take a close look at this right now, just try some demo stuff and see actually how it works and feels as a controller. This is not a product. You won't be able to order or buy this. This is just a weird promotional thing Miller is doing. And along with this announcement on the 10th, uh, Miller will also be announcing their first Twitch channel. Let's take a closer look at the controller. I'm actually playing Sonic the Hedgehog with a beer can. Uh, and this is about as comfortable as it looks. This is a uh, membrane control system, so like little little pushy, not quite buttons on here, but all the controls are present. Granted, there's only one for Sonic the Hedgehog, but they're mapped to all four buttons. Uh, yeah, this is kind of a SNES style, uh, A, B, X, Y, four button layout with a D-pad, select and start buttons, I mean, you know, clearly retro influenced. Not necessarily Sega retro influenced, but enough to play Genesis games. I am afraid to actually play Street Fighter on this because it is gonna be awkward. You can see uh, right here, if you can kind of get the layout going, the face buttons, a little bit bumpy. These are totally flat, but the membrane controls still totally work. I can look up and down. And if we turn the can this way, yeah, this is an actual Bluetooth device. Ribbon cable connects to the battery pack slash transmitter, which has a micro USB port and a switch, and it goes onto the membrane panel on here. It makes a beer can a controller. Like this, very clearly, like it is a, just a beer can. It is filled with beer, and you can play games on it. Detail I really like here. First, if we can get a close up of the, the message here. Inside is a fine Pilsner beer, brewed with the highest quality ingredients. Outside is a fully functional video game controller. Completely wireless and completely safe for enjoying cold, great tasting Miller Lite. Enjoy the controller. And yes, you actually can put this in the refrigerator, but you can only, you know, open it up and drink the delicious beer inside once. You know, you can try to refill it, but at that point, like, it's a, it's a little ribbon cable. Like, these are not IPX rated waterproof components, so I'm pretty sure this is not reusable. Uh, there are markings on the top that say it's recyclable. That's nice. And this is kind of great, all these little like, uh, you know, look at how great our brewery is and just pictures of hops and barley and like found in 1855. And oh yeah, a Bluetooth icon and like a little transmitter thing because this is a Bluetooth device. This is a fascinating, I don't know what noun to use. This is just fascinating. And it's a Miller Lite can that I can play video games with.